In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create LinkedIn carousel posts or Instagram posts using Adobe Illustrators and like this one that I'm showing you and I hope you'll find this video very much helpful. Let's get started. Okay, first of all, you just need to go to Illustrator for creating the carousel ads uh, for Instagram or LinkedIn, whatever you want. And uh, it's uh, very easy to do that. And I'm going to show that uh, throughout this video. And I hope you will stay um, at the end of the video. Uh, okay, first of all, you just need to go to Illustrator. So this is the Illustrator. I, I have already created the carousel ads here in Illustrator, but I'm going to show the process. Uh, the, way of taking the artboards or uh, pages and then uh, you can do the design section uh, design part so i'm not going to show the, you the design part in this video so first of all i just we you just need to go to file and uh, click on new and you will see that our um, pop-up menu option on the new document option here so just go to the preset and select this and uh, write caro so that's our post post okay so width is how uh, 1080 pixel by height should be 1080 pixels so it's okay so uh, here you, uh, you are seeing two artwork over there so top bleed should be um, uh, zero pixel and our color mode should be rgb and these are uh, things are okay so go to more options so you can see the options of spacing if available or not uh, as we are not going to take any spacing to both our boats so it's very important for creating carousel ads or posts okay so these are the things okay it's basically zero that we are looking for and uh, select this uh, grid by row and uh, we are not going to select grid by column or arrange by row or arrange by column or change the right to left layout so first thing is that so from these two options you just need to uh, create select grid by row so this is okay and other things are perfect so just click on create document so okay so these are the two artwork this one is the first one and if you click on that on that one you are seeing the black border that is marking that this is on the artboard selected so if i click on this one it will be selected like this here you are seeing if you if i zoom it so you will see that the black border is showing that this one is selected so this is a very good way so i want to create um, more artwork for example if i if i want to move these two artwork to the left side so we can uh, have the space for uh, creating or adding more artworks to the right side so how we can do it just select this both one so how we can do that so just go to select the artboard with this one and select this uh, this one is selected one and how we can select that this one so if i click on this one it will be selected as you are seeing the left one is the selected how we can do that do that uh, press shift key from your keyboard so we can uh, select both of them okay how we can move to the right side how we can do that as uh, both are selected and just click and drag and then press shift key so to move to the right, left side so you cannot um, press uh, shift key at the beginning before clicking mouse so this is okay so i think okay so i want to add more uh artboards to the right side of these artboards so how we can do that you can you are seeing this is the plus options over here new artboard so just click on it 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 so nine and then okay okay so we are going to make total 10 artboards so this is okay so now i want to uh, copy the designs from here so first of all i just need to um, select the first artboard from here so this one is okay so first okay then i want to click and drag okay click and drag selecting the first artboard so how you can see the which one is selected as i also mentioned that the artboard is showing that the border with black area this one okay so this one is selected so if you see perfectly you will see that okay so i want to click and drag all the artboards designs so control c from your mouse keyboard 
and then select the first curve right now here and then control shift b to paste it over there so it's perfectly pasted up, um, over the artboards if you don't press ctrl plus shift it will not be placed perfectly so this is the one you should always consider before pasting anything or and if you are doing that first time you will need to design that as i already designed the carousel ad and i'm just going to show you how we can do that okay so for linkedin <laughs> now you need to save this carousel ad as in pdf so how we can do that so go to uh, say a file option then you will see the option of save as and uh, you will see option of uh, Adobe PDF then I have already selected and I have already saved this one so this is the way so I just want to save it another time to show you so okay um, click on it okay now this and go to the file in illustrator default whatever you want you can uh, choose the file format I mean the options or uh, Adobe PDF preset there are a couple of options of PDF so whichever you want but I think preset or Adobe default is okay and if you want to uh, preserve illustrator editing capabilities to uncheck you can do that uncheck or check okay this way then click on save okay this options okay perfectly save for instagram how we you can save the images you can do that in different ways so uh, we can do the, just click on and the file then you can export option export for screens then you are seeing that all the screens are available uh, here and just click on um, all then arrange one to ten and select the um, whatever i say select the locations where you want to uh, save the images and click on export that's where you can do that so i hope you will find this video uh, very much helpful and if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you very much see you in the next video good tips and tricks